Welcome back, guys. I'm John, and this is my beautiful wife, Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife over here, bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new, healthy, and awesome level. So this week, we're going to bring some awesome information because you know what? The holidays are coming. That's right. Thanksgiving, Christmas, all these good things with all this good food and hopefully all these good memories that are going to be made. So you know what it means with holidays come around. Family might come around. You might like that family, might not like that family. Always quarrels. <laughs> <laughs> and you know there's always going to be food around, right? And especially you get hit back to back because you got Thanksgiving, which is all about feasting, right? It's all about getting together with your family, throwing down one, two, three, four plates if you can, right? And then you got Christmas coming right along, around the backside. But let's focus on Thanksgiving right away, right? So when we eat Thanksgiving, I think, what do we do? We have like me, you, your brother, maybe, mm -hmm, maybe. <laughs> his wife, <laughs> the kids, uh, you know, our parents usually were there. Moms, yeah, you know, his dad. And my dad usually there. And, uh, you know, we would have a nice little Thanksgiving like that. Some friends would come over here or there, but we keep it nice and tight. Yeah. Um, I know like it's only because I don't like anybody in my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> and we eat pretty lean. As far as that goes, like, you know, I, I'm sure you growing up was a little bit different than what we do now it is to me because when I was growing up, it was the family there and it was a lot of family that yeah. showed up. That so was, was the same thing with me. And it was a lot like, a lot of plates, right? We had lots of I mean, we had huge gatherings, like all my cousins and I had like probably like at least 10, 11, 12 cousins, like, and you know, their, their parents, my uncles, my aunts, and then they, I, we would have a nice Thanksgiving dinner and then everybody would sit down and play cards. And then I was stuck over there for hours off end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, please let me go home. I was so happy when I turned 16. I'm like, <laughs> I'm out of here guys. That was the one good thing. I had home field advantage. Usually all the holidays were done at my house. So at that point it was real simple, real easy. And, uh, you know, I was always families there. And at that point, you know, there's always like quarrels with family members, you know, I don't know, from each side or from the same side. And it's just Something is always said. There's always something that goes on. Even if you holiday. don't involve alcohol, yeah. something is always <laughs> said. I mean, it could be something as stupid as like, you're putting the gravy on your turkey wrong. Yep. You know, yeah, yeah. from like your grandpa or something. You're like, what? Yeah. And then that, somebody else gets involved like, what? It's like, you know, one of those, uh, what's, the, what's the movie? Huh. Oh my gosh! Like, uh, like what is it? Nutty professor, where they're all like at the table. Oh yeah, like, yeah, 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 What you yeah, talking yeah. about? Oh my god! You know, like it's a loud, you know, table. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell we like movies, right? Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. That's that's kind of how it was. I mean, you know, and uh, I don't know. Food wise, I, I think obviously, like what we do, like at our family now, it's like turkey, ham. You might have some mashed potatoes. I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic and pretty bland. I mean, to be honest with you, and I like it, I love it, right? Or, you know, you see some of these places or some of these yeah. you know, places I've seen or go over to different people's houses, I guess, and they got all the gravy and they got all this. We're doing that. a luncheon for the, for, the, for the staff and I get this, you know, thing from Bob Evans, shout out to you guys, but, you know, I get the thing and it's like cranberry something, okay, whatever, I, I, that's self-explanatory, but then yeah. it says like mashed potatoes and gravy and then it said chicken gravy. Yeah. I'm like, but, call me stupid, I'm like, we don't have any chicken. So like, who puts chicken gravy on turkey? Wouldn't you just put gravy like on turkey? Why would I need chicken gravy? Does that sound weird? So I did, I asked like, what's chicken gravy for? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, you put it on anything you want. You can yeah. put it on the ham, you can put it on the turkey, on the potatoes, on the corn. You can throw it, slop it up on your plate if you'd like. I'm like, what? See, you know, and I think that's the problem. I think like, you know, with so many different food places like that, uh, like, what are we doing here? I think if you <laughs> ate a little bit uh, more healthier on these days, it would be a lot better for you, right? And that doesn't mean you can't overindulge or you know, get some temptation, maybe some pumpkin pie if you like that, chocolate cake, whatever it is. But at that point, I think being a little bit smarter around that would be a lot better because the problem is, is that we sit around and most people don't exercise enough as is. They're not eating good as is. So when these days come around, it's like, you know, you're just, you're hitting them up even harder than what you would usually do. 
And at that point, you're going to store a lot more fat in the body. You know, the, the common thing and what we would usually go over would be like, hey, listen, tips and tricks to help you not gain weight or maybe even lose weight on holidays, <sighs> right? And how can you do this? How can you combat the overeating? And at that point, there's a couple of things you can do to try to, you know, curb it a little bit as far you as- You can just stuff your face fitness. and then take, you know, whatever you need to take after the fact. One, no. <laughs> One, eat smaller portions. So if you got to go to multiple places, I, I, we used to do this oh all the time. Oh my gosh, just my go to grandma. Four different or five His different mom, places. My mom, right? my brother, my so, dad. You know, you go over there and you got to eat because people are even now eating. Oh, well, why are you eating? You're disrespecting me. Like, what's wrong? So Take you got to eat. food and then give it to the dog underneath the table. Really. So, smaller portions of these places so you're not over excessively eating more than you would normally would. That would be number one. Two, you gotta exercise. So maybe even fasting the day before or exercising really hard the day before and then <laughs> afterwards. That's good. That would be some way you could possibly do it. The other way is you don't have to eat a whole bunch of food when you're going to, let's say you're going to one place, drink a whole bunch of water. Water is gonna make you feel a little bit fuller. Mm -hmm. At that point, you won't eat as much food. The next thing is, is eat dense protein. Attack the turkey, attack the ham. If you attack these proteins, it's going to fill you up a lot more than you eat mashed potatoes and whatever else you're going to eat that might be sweet or carbs, and it's going to turn to sugar like the right turkey away. really does make you like want to eat just more turkey. So let, let's break this down. So turkey is one of the leanest proteins yeah. you can eat, right? And then it helps with sleep, right? Yeah. Because it has awesome amino acids in it. So at that point, like, you know, turkey is a good thing to do. And I like to eat the white meat of it. A lot of people like to eat the dark. The dark is a little bit more unhealthier for you than the white is. The white's pretty the good skin. for you. skin! So, yeah, I stay away from that. So, if you <laughs> stay away from that thing, that's what I'm saying. Pick the white meat over that. You're like, oh, it's too dry. My dad would tell me all the time. Well, you know what? It's good to me, and I like it. It's a little bit more healthier. So, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I literally used to dip my turkey in melted butter. <laughs> so good. I have now discontinued this behavior. It's like these people I see now, like, I literally was watching a TV show last night, and somebody was eating a stick of butter. Oh my gosh, yeah, we like, did see that. Like, this is a high-fat diet. Like, key, I'm like, oh man, I wouldn't be eating no stick of butter. Anyway, back to what we were going with, with, with the holidays. So, if you do these things, you could, you know, help yourself in a couple different ways. Now, let's say you overindulged, you didn't follow our tips and tricks that just gave you. <laughs> what can you do? Take an ECA. So, there's many different options from tight medical centers as far as weight loss options or GLP ones like semi-glutide or tear zepatide, which is like the main active ingredient, like Ozempic or Zepbound. And these will help you. It's one injection a week to help curb appetite, lose weight, get that body function like it really can. I mean, even if you don't do the GLP ones, you can literally do the ECA Stack Plus, which is ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. You can do L-carnitine injections. You can do Titan Complete. AOD. You can do AOD. You can do Titan Trim. That's a yep. new one. Um, you know, there's so many different options, and we really just try to we really try to customize it just to every single patient. So there's never like you're not going to come in here and have the same exact regimen. Not typically, mm -hmm. like you know Sarah, and then you know you have Allison. They come in together, but they walk out with two totally different regimens. But they both want to lose 20 right. pounds. It's customized. So if you need to lose some weight and you're overindulged on Thanksgiving and you're seeing this. We're here for you. You guys can call or text us here at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. And it's very simple and easy for you guys to be able to utilize some of these different therapies that we have to curb that appetite, to lose that weight that maybe you've gained over the holidays or Thanksgiving because at this point it's coming real soon and Christmas is too. So get the jump start on the new year. Don't be one of those people that wait for New Year's resolutions for me to lose weight. Get the jump start, lose a lot of weight, and then go in the gym. You're like, oh, look at me. You're looking so listen, better. Before, you before we sign off, though, we got we to gotta touch base just real quick. We got to touch base on being thankful. Like, yeah. this is that window. Not that you shouldn't be thankful every single day that you open your eyes and you're breathing because you really should be thankful for that. But to be thankful for everything that's been given to you for this year. Like, that's the moment. Like, you know, you're there with your family. You say a prayer around the table. Maybe you don't. We do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just it's a moment for you to understand, like, okay, this is awesome. I'm blessed. My family's blessed. We have our health. We have our strength. You know, these are important things that you need to remember on Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is about, you know, being, being grateful. Thankful. Being thankful. So thankful for everything you have. God bless. I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving. 
We're going to have one too. Don't overindulge. But if you do, Titan Medical Center's got you Eat back. everything. Don't worry. And catch us every worry Sunday. the next day. 11 a.m. ABC. DVR us <laughs> if you don't catch it live. Or you can catch it on our social media channels. The whole episode is going to be on YouTube. So check out Titan Medical Center there. Check out all the other cool content. Me and my beautiful wife here, we're out. Got to go back to work. We love you guys. Thank you so much. See ya.